Hello and welcome to Swift Goose. Today I'm going to show you how to install Xcode command line tools a few different ways. Please hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and thank you for watching. Okay, so before we get started, the first way to tell if you have Xcode command line tools installed already, you can do an ls-la on your library and developer folder and see if you have the command line tools directory, which we don't. So now we can run an Xcode select command so Xcode select, and you can press dash dash version here, and it will tell you which version we're on. Now, if you run Xcode select and you get an error message, maybe like in this screenshot that I have here, it might say error, no developer tools were found and no install could be requested. If that happens, then you might need to manually install the command line tools, and I'll show you how to do that next. Now Xcode select has a method of installing using Xcode dash select and dash dash install. Xcode select command requires the command line developer tools. So let's install them and click agree. Now this will take a minute to download. And the software was installed. Click done. Now let's press option K to clear out our terminal. Go up a few times to our LS minus LA. And now you see we have a command line tools folder. And now let me show you how to manually download and install Xcode command line tools from Apple's downloads URL. So let's open up a new Safari page. Let's go to developer.apple.com slash download slash more and you'll need to sign in with your developer ID here and on the left let's search our downloads for command line tools and you see we have all the different versions available for us in this case I've already downloaded the 12.4 DMG right here so it'll take a couple minutes to download and then we can run the install Let's close this window for now. And let's go to our DMG here. And now we just install the package like usual. Continue. Install. Installation was successful. Close and get rid of it for now. And again, we'll do our ls minus la, and we see we have our command line tools. We can do our Xcode select version, and now we can also run our xcron command as well. If you want to uninstall the command line tools, you can do an rm minus rf. Be very careful with this command and what you put following it because you can easily delete things that you didn't want to delete, like your entire hard drive. So be very careful and make sure that you have your exact path that you want to delete. Developer, command line tools, and hit enter. And they're gone. Of course, if you do an ls minus la on that folder, you will see that we don't have them anymore and Xcode select version. We do still have a version, but if we want to install them, we will get prompted again. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and remember to hit the dinner bell. Thanks for watching.